taking you behind the scenes at the Blessing Hospital emergency room this morning, talking all about how it's important to get that life-saving treatment right off the bat when you're having a heart attack. And one person that has seen this happen time and time again, people coming in to the ER, not really knowing what's happening, and it ends up being a heart attack is Dr. Anthony Wollaston. He's an ER doc here at the e emergency room. What do you see on an everyday basis? We see a lot of patients coming in with chest pain, and uh, a lot of time the concern with uh, chest pain, of course, is an underlying heart problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, oftentimes people are coming by private car. Um, we've been encouraging people, if you're experiencing significant symptoms, to call the ambulance, and oftentimes that may be your best choice. But why, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, getting to the hospital in their car is going to save them time, but mm -hmm. in the end, you say it actually can elongate the circumstances, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, what do they have to go through at the ER in order to get to the cath lab where they might get the treatment? So if you come with chest pain, if you come in through the uh, via private vehicle, you're going to come in through the main doors, obviously, and mm -hmm. then you're going to go through a triage process. And usually we expedite that fairly quickly, mm -hmm. and uh, we see our chest pain patients uh, expeditiously. But if you call an ambulance and you're having significant symptoms, you're going to come right through the ambulance doors mm -hmm. and go straight to a bed and be seen immediately. So mm -hmm. uh, in that sense, you're, 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 if you're having a heart attack, you're going to get to where you need to be a lot faster. And really, heart attacks don't present the same with everyone. Some people even feel like they have the flu, I'm told, when they have heart attack symptoms. So, you know, the triage process could even be elongated even further if you're not really having that chest pain. If you're not having specific chest pain, yes. I mean, we'll, we'll do an EKG within mm -hmm. five minutes on any patient that is having chest pain, and that often helps us to triage those patients. But mm -hmm. uh, if you're having symptoms that aren't quite so typical, uh, in those situations, you may fall through the cracks, and that could be a problem. Well, and the Blessing Hospital emergency room gets people in and out as quickly as they can, but it's all about your decision to call the ambulance right away. Coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to be talking about the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and why it's important to know what you're experiencing when it happens.